Well, one of the primary concerns here is that lines have been, uh, line populations have been declining right across Africa. In fact, we've lost 70% of the population right across Africa. Um, and that primarily is happening in pastoral lands, in areas that are not protected. Um, in areas where lions are actually having to live with people. And so one of the primary questions is, how do people and lions live together? Is it even possible for, th for that to exist? Now, one of the strategies uh, to protecting lions is what's called community conservancies. And that is where people actually gain benefit from tourism. Up until now, essentially, there is no benefit from, from having a lion on your doorstep. And in fact, it only comes at cost because that is a predator, that's a very large predator, that's eating your livestock and threatening your livelihood. But if there is a way that you can get revenue from having that animal there through tourism, then perhaps that might change your attitudes to having these large carnivores on your doorstep. And that may also enhance a lion's uh, ability to survive in these areas. So we followed about 400 lions during the study and we followed them by using their whisker spot pattern which is a pattern on the side of the face which is unique to the individual lion like a human's fingerprint. And by using this we could follow a lion from its birth to its death and we use those to construct our survival curves and figure out how many lions we had surviving throughout the period. Uh, so this work is really important because some very recent work has shown that lions are declining all over Africa, apart from in very small fence reserves in South Africa. And we're hoping that this model of the conservancies, which has been developed by a lot of landowners in Kenya, can be replicated across East Africa and, and across the continent um, as a whole, as a way to get people living alongside wildlife without the need for fences. I think the bottom line is, is that when people actually get benefits from living with their lions or with, with wildlife, they become more tolerant and that, and that there are ways to, to resolve these issues that are probably a bit more in harmony with how these ecosystems actually operate, rather than going with a hard line fencing people one side, animals on the other.